NJIBI. Alright, here's a quick little rundown of the iGen 2020 night vision thingy by Night Owl. And uh, right here, you're looking at a pretty dark scene, but you can adjust the exposure to increase how much you could see, how much light gets in. And uh, see a little power line trail there, but not much else. And the video gets very jerky when you lower the frame rate, just like any other camcorder. You can see a little, but it's pretty grainy, especially down two frames per second. But I do not have the gain adjusted. And when you adjust the gain, you can see a lot more. Now you can see that there's actually a hill there. You know, this thing works best if you hold it steady, but I'm actually just holding it out the roof, uh, holding it out the sunroof, and just peering around like a periscope, just uh, testing it out. And the uh, gain settings are important, especially uh, if you have the IR off, uh, you don't want to have too much gain because uh, you can get overexposed images. And that's no good, especially if you're walking through a forest. Every tree branch is going to overexpose your image. So you can lower the frame rate with the IR light off and still see quite a bit, but it's going to get pretty jerky. You can actually see the hill back there a little bit. There's the uh, power company. And uh, a lot of light down there, so it's it's pretty overexposed, but uh, handles it pretty well. If you lower the frame rate, you can see more. Obviously, more light getting in there. And one of the coolest things is you can adjust the colors of the screen and uh, that way if you're stargazing you don't have to be blind when you look away when it's white, green, and red kind of work good for that. And there's the uh, power line trail right there. Obviously we're near the power companies, so there's quite a few of those. And you can see a little bit of overexposure on the uh, the branches and the brush right there but you can uh, you know go to green or whatever and also adjust the gain and also turn off your uh, IR light that all those things kinda help getting the best image you, you can get and this is a very very dark night uh, there's no moonlight to speak of and kind of overcast you can see there on that branch like how it's all white you can you can mess with the gain and try to go around it I prefer the gain to be a little bit lower than the complete maximum I think it looks best that way And another cool thing is uh, stargazing. There's uh, Orion's belt, and uh, you can see a lot more star stars than you can see with your naked eye. And uh, I'm just screwing around with the frame rate here unnecessarily, but uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, one of the best features is, is the fact that it, it uh, works quite well without the IR light, which means if uh, uh, you're, you're looking for an animal that might actually be able to see that little red glow uh, if you're pointing the unit at it it might not see you know realize what's going on instead of seeing that uh, red glow so that's kind of a good thing
and I recorded this using ITV and uh, one of the old boxes that you know, run the cable in and just a standard video cable right into my computer and I'm um, holding it out the roof like a periscope at this moment but uh, there you have it